Good evening, I'm Mia Gradney. Beginning tonight with a warning for anyone who uses Internet Explorer to surf the web. You may be in danger of ID theft. We're hearing from security experts who say hackers have exploited a security hole in the software, leaving computers at home or work seriously compromised. 39's Andrea Wynn joins us live in the newsroom with how you can protect yourself. Andrea? Mia, the cybersecurity threat is such a big deal right now. Two countries, France and Germany, have issued warnings for its Internet users to abandon Microsoft's Internet Explorer. Every time you go online, experts say you may want to think twice because hackers now have another tool to use against you. It seems to exploit Internet Explorer. Talking to 39 News via Skype, cybersecurity expert Michael Gregg says hackers are taking advantage of a flaw in the popular web browser. The other party really has complete control of your system. They can turn on your camera, they can turn on your microphone, they can you know, look through your files. Experts believe the attacks, dubbed Operation Aurora, are the same as the Gmail and Google hackings in China last week. Unfortunately, they say the attacks are now widespread after hackers posted the Chinese attack code on several public websites. Here is how it works. A hacker sends a victim an unsolicited email asking them to click on a link or to download a file. Once the victim falls for the trap, the hacker has full access to the victim's computer. Microsoft acknowledges the problem and is working on an emergency patch, but it's not expected to come out until at least another two weeks. So how can you tell if your computer is infected? Usually if, if you, you have pop-ups to websites that you normally wouldn't go to or, you know, uh, emails being sent out on your behalf. Local IT expert Samir Saber says users can protect themselves by installing an updated antivirus program, upgrading to the latest Internet Explorer version, or temporarily dumping Internet Explorer and using another web browser like Firefox instead, or at least until Microsoft fixes the problem. Now, in addition to Mozilla Firefox, other alternate browsers that you could use include Apple Safari and Google Chrome. Now, experts also recommend users not open suspicious emails or click on strange sites and don't download anything from unfamiliar websites. Mia? Andrew, we know people use different versions of Internet Explorer, so which type are we talking about here that's being affected? Well, experts say that the attacks are designed to exploit Internet Explorer 6, but that does not mean that other versions are immune. Uh, Microsoft has issued a security advisory for its 6, 7, and 8 versions. Also, other browsers aren't necessarily safer. It's just that Internet Explorer is the larger one, so often it's targeted. All right, we'll be on the lookout. Andrea Wynn in the newsroom. Thanks so much.